Now, are you ready for Rachel? with my organizational buddy, uh, he's a wizard, Peter Walsh, and I love Peter. But I always say to him whenever we're together, I don't know why he continues to come back here. Nor do I. We send Peter on impossible organizational missions. Like, you know those rooms in your house or those closets? You don't look in there, you don't go in there, you just keep shoving crap in there. Well, then we send him in Here to clean it up. Happy to do it. So, I think a lot of our audience, anybody who's a parent, is definitely going to relate to the mess we sent him into today because we got um, it, it, just a cry out for help from a very frustrated mother who said her daughter's bedroom, she's 22, just graduated school, is completely out of control. Let's take a look at what rolled out for Peter to tackle. It was fun. Christina, what are we going to do with all this? My name is Marianne, and this is my daughter, Christina. We live in Garden City, New York, and my daughter's room is a disaster. I walk in, grab whatever clothes or things I need for the day, and then tonight, I throw the stuff back in there. I've just gotten to the point where I don't even know what to do with it because I have to climb over stuff to get into the room, so I just don't deal with it. Christina's room has gotten so bad that she's sleeping on her brother's floor. And it's just awful. There's just no space. Christina just graduated from college in May, and I want her to get her act together. I think that if she cleans her room up, it'll set up for the future. It's just a cluttered bedroom. How bad can it be? Hi. Hi, guys. Great to meet you. I'm so excited that Peter Walsh is here to work on Christina's room. I just know it's going to be amazing when it's done. Wow, this is terrifying. <laughs> what am I looking at? When I was at school, I had my school stuff and my home stuff. But when I moved back home, everything kind of just got dumped together here. For a lot of people, clutter just accumulates over time. And it gets to the point where it's so overwhelming, you just don't know where to start. If you overload a space, you can never be happy in that room. How do you feel when you walk in this room? Disheartened. Yeah, and that's going to always be the case if you don't respect the limits of the room. So today we have a really simple game plan. We're going to sort everything in this room into one of three categories. Stuff you want to keep, stuff that you want to donate, and stuff that's trash. So, tell me what this is. It's from a father-daughter skit when I graduated high school. I'm a big fan of what I call the rule of five. Every five years, you need to completely reassess everything that you own and let go of things you no longer need, use, or want. Keep. Okay. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Talk to me about what's going through your head. Something's going on. Tell me what's happening. I think I just want to make sure it wasn't from my grandma. Okay. Is she no longer here? This is really important because... Because our stuff has power. Take these off for a second. You're fogging up on it. <laughs> the stuff you own has the power to evoke this incredible memory of your grandma. And you're terrified that if you let something go, you will lose the memory. Now, the tough me is... If this reminds you of your grandmother, it is absolutely not okay that it is buried in the clutter in your room. That is so disrespectful. So what we need to do is to take the things that are important and display them in a way that make it really wonderful and happy for you. You okay? Yeah. Good. You've just learned a huge lesson. Let's keep moving. Great job, guys. I want you to take this last donation box downstairs. The team and I are going to work on this room now. You're out of here. Good job. Well done. And you started to cry again when you got you got a little choked up about, I just want to make sure it's not Graham's. I love that. And I think that's um, got to be surprising to you, right, that it is so emotional. Something as simple as cleaning and organizing, like, it's weird how emotional you can get over it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Are you okay? I'm good. <laughs> okay. So, Peter, um, 
you and I were saying, oh gosh, I, that would make me so nervous, yeah. you know? She couldn't even sleep in her own room. Well, She's been sleeping on her baby brother's floor. That's right? right. In Christina's case, and I think in anyone in the audience or watching, if you're struggling with focus or with motivation or mood, clean up your space and it is amazing how it will transform We've your life. We've said it over and over again. You clean a room and it frees your mind. Right. Yeah. And I think Christina saw that yesterday too. So it had a happy ending and um, uh, I'm dying to see it. So let's just roll it. Yeah. This room is so out of control that I've got a number of volunteers. We're going to nail this. Honouring important mementos or significant achievements is really all right here. We're going to do something special for Christina. In organising any space, especially a small room, it's important to use vertical space, use racks or shelves up walls to get stuff off the floor and to maximise the space you have. In this case, quarter shelves. It's really simple to maximise the hanging space in any closet by using cascading hangers. You really maximise the space that you have. Storing things like memorabilia or out-of-season items is really simple by using these underbed storage boxes from our friends at the Container Store. And the beauty is that they slide really simply under beds to make maximum use of the space you have. Come on in. Remember when we started this morning, what this room was like? You could barely get in the door, you couldn't see the bed. Open your eyes and check out your new room. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's like a new room. It is like a new room. It's really simple. We've removed all of the clutter and the excess stuff, and we've highlighted the things that say, Christina, your incredible achievements academically, your friends and family in photos, the dolphins and other things you love in the shadow boxes. Original artwork <laughs> by you. And look at this. I can see the bed. Yes. <laughs> I can't. Okay. My horse right now. I'm okay with that. You're a little overwhelmed again, but in a yeah, great way. In a much better way. There's so much of, of her in it that you can see now. Before it was buried in all the different places. Seriously, I wish you so many wonderful, incredible things moving forward. I'm gonna sleep you tonight. I know. <laughs> See? Happy ending! So, you know, a, a short amount of time, but you're committed to this now, right? To, yes. So now, the rest of the house, all neat and tidy, is, is it an inspiration to everybody? To... Well, it's definitely an inspiration. Um, Peter gave some great tips yesterday, and he's inspired me to do the other rooms in the house. That's great. And by the way, they didn't ask me to do this. I just want to give a shout out to our friends at the Container Store. Every time we work together with Peter, they have our back and their products are so smart and friendly and cool. Yeah. So you're well on your way, but that room needs uh, some of your personality. So our friends at Kohl's sent me over a thousand dollar gift card <laughs> for you to go shopping. <laughs> Get priceless advice.